Okay, so the Bendix G15 tube computer sneak peek video is kind of proving to be, well, a little bit popular. No, it's not going viral. That'd be nice if it did. But, you know, I did, it was really just a sneak peek, and I kind of really glossed over what the actual guts are like. And the modules, as you can see, go ahead and go back and watch that video. You know, I said, hey, I pulled all the tube modules out. I wanted to keep them safe. And the diode modules, well, you couldn't see them, just the edges. So I pulled out a couple of modules to let you know what they actually look like. So you can stop wondering. I cheated a little bit. These are actually, the tube module is actually from one of the tape drives. Not, not a processor, but the, it's the same, same sort of deal. You may have seen some of these on eBay. They pop up from time to time. Small three-tube deals with a circuit board. Oh, we got a little heat problem there. With a bunch of discretes and space for three tubes. Nice aluminum handle. And uh, these handles are color-coded for the function of the module. This is some sort of amplifier-type module. Like I said, came out of uh, uh, one of the MTA2 tape drives. Three tubes, one of which is shielded, probably for noise reasons. Now, you'll, you can see that, well, there's really no diodes on here. How do they do all the, the logic switching? Well, they mated it with a diode module. And just like the tube modules, the diode modules, there are only a few different types. And you can see they're exceedingly basic. It's a bunch of diodes and a few resistors. There are only a few different types. The idea is you did kind of a mate. You mated one of these to one of these. And uh, this did your logic switching with the diodes. And this did your your uh, amplification or if you needed a flip-flop or whatever. These were the active bits. So there are roughly about the same number in the processor. Same number of diode modules as there are two modules. As you can see, the tubes are only a few few types. It really, th this was a good system because it kept the number of tubes down and it actually kept the, the number of types of uh, modules down. There are only, I don't know, four, five, six, seven different types of modules in the entire system. You didn't need to carry, a, a custom engineer didn't need to carry around a, a ton of different types. He only needed a few. They all look the same. They're color-coded. Easy peasy on the maintenance. The tube types, there were only a few tube types. In the processor, there are 6197s, which are computer rated 6CL6s, and uh, 5963s are the twin triodes, like here. That's all. That's only a computer rated 12AV7. There are also some 2D21 little miniature gas thyrotrons, but only in the paper tape punch. They just drive the solenoids. Very simple. It was really a well thought out design for maintenance. So anyway, these are what the modules look like. So now you can stop wondering. As I delve into that huge project, it's a mess, isn't it? I'll make more videos, but wow, I have a lot to do. Probably the first thing I need to do, fix the casters, because none of that stuff wants to roll properly. Every one of them has a busted caster somewhere. So, yeah, mechanical bits first. Anyway, if you like this, leave a like, subscribe, maybe go back and actually look at the sneak peek. See you later.